G'day and welcome to another podcast for The Point. Uh, apologies for last week, um, I was a bit crook and I was pretty busy at the same time. Funny how that happens. Uh, anyway, we're back. Uh, so news this week, Tsunami have finally decided to, uh, well they've finally discovered the floating bridges, so they're running some press on them now, so well done Tsunami and good on you boys at the bridges. Um, about you guys have deserved this sort of press and they're, they're a great band, so uh, let's hope that's this uh, the sign of more to come. Um, Wingspan, these boys have been around for a few years now and apparently they're changing line up again which is a bit strange but it's the thing of all bands that it happens um, they're recording soon um, which is what they've stated to be their first legit EP um, those of you who haven't heard Wingspan yet go check out their MySpace uh, I think it's Wingspan Beats um, so you, all your normal MySpace sort of stuff uh, check out the song they did with the Morning Tide vocalist uh, it's pretty brutal, so if you like this stuff nice and heavy, it's, it's worth checking out. Just quickly want to mention uh, a well done to the Cloudy Music Festival uh, organisers, because uh, from all reports it went very, very well, and it's great to see such uh, well-known acts mixing up with the local guys. Um, so you had the Master Lees, the Vagrant City Scandal from what I know, but there was quite a few other local acts apparently. So, good job, well done. Uh, let's see some more of this stuff happening. Um, point Party! Those of you who aren't invited, I apologise for it. Uh, I had to be pretty sort of strict with who was invited and it's mainly just the bands. Um, and it's my way and the Point's way of saying thank you to the bands that have contributed to the Point and, and to... It's basically a networking and um, sort of a unity exercise, I guess. Um, performing on the night, we actually got a couple of uh, acoustic sets happening. So we've got Dunst Name, uh, The Floating Bridges, Hopefully, if they're not, it's not conflicting with a, another set that they're doing in Brisbane. A mate of mine, Emily Thompson, who's been recording with uh, Clint Vincent. It'll be interesting to see her stuff. Translucent, they're coming down from Noosa Way to, to play a few songs. Uh, Rob Stanley, this guy's a pretty phenomenal guitarist, and he'll have a backing track on the night too, and he's a pretty damn good artist too. Uh, Rowan Newski, my man. One of the founders at the point with myself, he'll be doing um, some bluesy stuff, which he's been doing lately. Obviously, um, technical simplicity. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to play. Uh, do this without me playing. You know, I mean, I'm a muser as well. I like to have a bit of fun. Um, and hopefully, um, melodicity. So, it's a good lineup of some acoustic stuff. Um, there's going to be a mix of metal bands there and, and you've got the uh, Ippie Hippies there and you've got some indie kids so it, it'd be an interesting mix but um, it's about time to see the, the Central Coast Music scene get together or something like that. It's very rare that you see all these genres in, in one sort of uh, area. Um, so be, I'll be putting on beer and the pieces and that sort of stuff for, for these guys. So if you do miss out, sorry but there will be footage from the Point Party going up on the Point uh, but more importantly, it will be the return of Pinecone Throat. <laughs> the man's been very busy. Uh, he's running around like a mad chook at the moment with his head cut off, but finally we'll get to see him come out again. Uh, so he'll probably be running around the crowd, uh, talking to a few of the bands, um, getting up his own mischief, probably signing a few things to give away. Um, and just so you don't forget who Pinecone Throat is, we're going to chuck now to Dead Kelly's film clip for Such Is Life. Keep an eye out for this part in the clip, because I'm going to show you a little bit of it, uh, when the mysterious stranger in the uh, mowing hat comes through in the crowd there. Yeah, pretty interesting. I know it is, but I'm not telling. So, uh, enjoy. <laughs>
was Dead Kelly. Now we're going to go to something that's completely contrasting that sound. And this is going to be one of my favourite artists. Uh, for those of you that follow the point, you'll know that I've got a bit of a soft spot for um, Tom Cooney's work. It's not the type of stuff I listen to all the time, but um, he's, he's an old friend of mine and I really, really appreciate what he does with his singer and songwriter stuff. Um, to be honest with you, when I first heard the song and saw the film clip to it, um, it made me get in touch with my inner sort of sookie side and I actually nearly, nearly cried when I heard the song. Um, it's pretty brave of me to say that, but it's a good song. So we're going to throw now to a little bit of, um, of Tom Cooney's Hold Me Down. Check out all the cool paperwork in this clip. It's very cool. My arms won't stretch that far Won't turn that away. So get up, turn around, and move. First time in months And I don't know what I was thinking of I didn't feel a drop And memories and maps when you wanna get lost And all the reasons meld into one And nothing grows when you're all Rain and not so I hope you enjoyed that one. Just uh quickly before we go, the gigs this week. Um tomorrow night, well by the time most of you watch this will be Halloween already. Um to get your butts down to the Sands Tavern. You've got Excruciate, Archaea, Ablaze with Sin and a few other more um, brutal bands playing for Halloween. So get your dark stuff on and head out there. If you're heading down to Brisbane, Melodicy and This Collision uh, are playing Club 299. So that's, um, that's a pretty good line up there. It's always... Um, last time I saw those two together was at the zoo and that was pretty phenomenal. Uh, and on Sunday... Um, at the Music Cafe, the Floating Bridges, they've got a pretty solid residency there. And Raul Nitschke, Nitschke, sorry buddy, um, they're playing there, uh, there t on Sunday night. So that's be worth checking out too. So that's it for this weekend. Um, that's it for this week. We'll catch you next week. Hopefully we'll get Rowan in the studio, and, uh, well, the Point Palace anyway. And uh, hopefully he can do another live performance. He's been saying he wants to get uh, another song on here. So we'll see how we go. Cheers, guys. See you next time. So it'll be interesting to see what um, they can come up with that one. One of the last recordings actually had Tyrone from... Uh, is it Tyrone or Tossin? Captain. Um.